<laughs> oh, the light shone for a few minutes. Ah, Kratos, amen. Wanted to experiment on my body. Yeah, with the strawberry Belgian. Ah, well, you know what? That's what you do, man. Nobody's knocking you. That's what you do. You experiment, and you you know your body tells you once you can get going for about a month on raw, you're pretty much your body's gonna go. Uh uh, I don't like to go back to where I was. I'm happy where I'm at. Lemonade again, Susan. I'm experiencing high blood pressure. I already talked about. That's not high. You know what? Uh, could be a detox symptom. Relax. That's kidneys and adrenals. Um, I don't know. You're on the herbs or something. Uh, cut down on the adrenal formula or something. Uh, you might just be going through a short period of detox, could be coming from here, honey, so you never get, I mean, always do you take high blood pressure and get it, get rid of, I mean, nobody maintains high blood pressure on raw foods and detoxifying, but you could be going through some cycles or something, so anything's possible like that. I'm wondering that, that too, uh, how long can you use Hill All Tea? I have people that drink it on a daily basis uh, for years, so. You can play with that as much as you want. On these herbs, after you've been on them for a while, I always recommend five days on, two days off. It gives you a chance to take a break on them and everything. And some of you have been on them that long. Do, uh, do two times a day, one dose in the morning, one dose in the evening. You really see the difference. Most of you will when you take these herbs and when you don't take them. Uh, there's such a difference. It's just amazing the difference that you feel. And you see such the benefits of, of herbs. I love herbs. Great herbs. Good guys. Alone a lot of. Yeah, I talked about menopause. I hope I covered that uh, for you. The first thing here, sweetheart. Get those endocrine glands up. You're hurting. You got to get your lymph system moving real well. I've been following you and your case here. So, uh, nature lover. Let's see here. Oh yeah, I talked about that about the thoracic duct and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. That's that's what the current thinking is in medical and, believe it or not, massage therapy. Make sense to you? Now that you understand kitchen, bathroom, acid, alkaline, make sense to you? Theories. Theories. Why would you have such magnificent organs called the kidneys if you just pee in a little water? Huh? Dr. Morris talked about the hormones for the ladies. Yep, I did that. Good deal. Animals are thinking we know how to eat better than us. We could learn a lot. From, oh, thanks. Thanks, Miss uh, Sweets. Uh, again, I think we sold out our intuitiveness to the mind. We uh, praise the uh, educational system in the mind, and yet our educational system doesn't do anything to foster the strength of the individual and the awareness of the individual and then teach them how to count. If anything, they hurt us like cattle. Everybody has to have the same academic levels. Everybody, has, you know, I always hated that, especially in Catholicism, where everybody wore the same clothes. People used to say to me, well, they, you know, you would know what to wear and everybody has it. No, please. That's army. That's military. I hated the military. You know, I mean, I, I had a good position, but uh, still, uh, this, uh, this, this, you know, this constipated starch look and this everybody wearing the same that's that that's the social consciousness that's the the control God doesn't do God doesn't make two things the same anywhere in creation now I think we should take from that and realize that the beauty is the fact of individuality I don't I love the fact that all humans look different all clothes look different they all trees look different I love the fact that everything's different. I, I think we ought to, to, to sing in the streets and be joyous because of the differences, not because of the lack of similarities. I, I, no. uh, currently watching your DVD. Thank you. Thank you, Brandon. Uh, I'll pass. Let me see here. This is from Brandon. Uh, let me see. Oh, this is your picture back in yeah, the, oh, the holy ass. <laughs> well, my friend, it sounds like you're learning a lot and uh, life is uh, tempering you. Uh, good guy, you know. We, we go through our spells, you know, and I look back on some of mine and go, oh, that was me. Uh, you know, I mean, that's just the way life is. To live in the moment, get your joy in the moment, get your peace in the moment, get your ecstasy in the moment. Touch God. 
That's the key. Touch it, be God. You commented on a recent video that you're a young adult who work at your clinic. You know what? Uh, yeah, Steve, I mean, I try to hire those, you know, I... Uh, I don't know, you know, I'm not like other people. Some, some, some of our clients got mad because I hired certain people, but I need, they needed it. They both needed it. The one needed to learn humility and love, and the other one needed the exercise to, to, to learn how to open up to other people. And I remember Teresa here, I hired her, and she had had a big tumor here and done some chemo, and it reduced it a little bit when she came to us. Uh, Chemo just ate her up, and so we cleaned it out of her, and uh, um, uh, they they actually cut her vocal cords in trying to biopsy the tumor, and so she had spoke a little about like this. So she when she cleaned the tumor out, I hired her <laughs> to speak on the telephone, and I thought it was pretty good. I got a little flack, but then when people learned about her, they loved her. Let's see. <laughs> Thanks, Steve, for the burning of the fingertips. Man, if I could burn your fingertips. Hey, Lion Man, love you too, bro. Uh, toothpaste, yeah, I mean, you find something out there. We use a baking soda powder. Uh, it's an actual toothpaste with baking soda in it and stuff. But, yeah, anything that's neat without the fluorides and stuff like that. Tom's, not all of Tom's is good, believe it or not. It's too bad. But there's a lot of good ones. Uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, oh man, it slipped through my mind. But uh, uh, we've got some good toothpaste from old, old uh, uh, like herbalists and stuff that made them there. And uh, Jason's, and then there's another one. Uh, but anyway, I, I really haven't played in the pharmacy in a while. And they're always looking at new products and and seeing how good they are and stuff. Because I love people that, that put their heart and soul into their products and go, ooh, this is good, try this. I love that. That's the consciousness. That's like these French chefs. Oh, look what I made, try this. You know, they, they put their heart and their soul into their work. I love that. No matter what level it is. You know, you always do your best at something. And, and, and with pride, you go, here, the story of Malarapa. Great story. Uh, let me see. Uh, thanks for your comments, uh, uh, Linda Raven. Uh, yoga shot. Let's see. Oh, chronic chap lips. Okay. So she has chronic chap lips. Looks all, almost like yeast infection, and they crack, burn, and sore. Again, lymph acidosis. Lymph acidosis. So you have got to, you know, lymph nodes. Fill under here. You'll feel your lymph nodes swollen. You got to move your lymph, you know, get your lymph moving around you, sweetheart, and clean all that out. I wouldn't be putting anything but an oil or beeswax or something like that on there. I'd be real careful with some of these things, but still, go internally and work that out of you. A sage. I have not heard the word sage in a long time. Remember, I'm a little cow town here. Uh, I'm like you guys. We're little light bulbs in the darkness. And. Uh, I like the sage thing. <laughs> uh, thanks, uh, Fairy. Thank you. Uh, appreciate that. Uh, love you too, man. Hey, look, I'm I'm being able to get to it. I got quite a stack here, but uh, I'm probably you know I'm caught up with what I've done. So I'm apologize to you. I'm going to have to read them as we go through here. So forgive me about that. Peace. Be patient with me. Uh, here's water and hydration. I am currently doing the great fast in two days now. Before that, I have uh, been eating mainly fruit. I suffer from water retention, edema, especially in my legs. All right, now, what do you think this is, guys? Come on. They're real easy, right? Kidney failure. Absolutely kidney failure. This is the hallmark signs of kidney failure and systemic acidosis. So remember, when you're acidic, your body's going to be a little bit edemic. Women know that when their estrogen starts to, to, to go up, the body buffers itself and you get a little bloaty. And this is the body's uh, another, you know, I always look at water. I look at, I look at cholesterol and I look at calcium as the three of the body's main antacids. So when you see that on your test, uh, I just gave you that. 
those are the body's three main ad acids in the fight of acidosis. And edema is one of them. Now, you'll hold water until you can truly start that hydration, get that cationic process going. Then you'll start to see as the kidneys start filtering, you'll then really see the real hydration of the body take place. The edema will come out, especially those that are, 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 are obese. They, they can gain some weight, water weight. Just hang in there. Keep working on those kidneys and adrenals, and you'll break that, and then it'll all come out of you, and everybody starts repairing, and everything goes good. So hang in there, but this is going right back to your kidneys and adrenals, honey. Superhuman or whoever, male or female, it's hard for me to tell sometimes. I know the common method is to drink a lot more water. Oh no, oh no, you would not drink a lot of water. Why would you drink a lot of water when you're already bloated up? You can really give yourself. I had a lady that had Lou Gehrig's so bad that she was twisted up like a donut and her, she was, these tissues were almost growing to her, to her uh, shoulder. And she was like this and up almost into a fetal position. You couldn't even spread her legs to clean her or anything, and she was in a, a place down here the Englishes have for to get well. People come to us, we have a place that you can stay, and they'll make you all raw foods and stuff. And so they're kind of, they take in older people too, and people from the courts, uh, and the courts sent her over here, a young woman. And as we, as we started her on raw, you started her seeing her unfold. That was cool. I mean, her legs, uh, within the week you could clean her. She just started to unfold beautifully. And uh, we have this on film. And it was just beautiful to see her coming out of this. Well, the feeding tube was getting a little raunchy, and uh, we needed to get a new feeding tube. So she took this, uh, this client to the, her MD to get a feeding tube, and the MD made one little statement. He said, well, she suffered too much. And he just made that off-the-wall statement, and that, that was it. So, uh, a couple of days later, I get a call from Miss English, and she said, we have a problem. This lady is, is gurgling. She's not breathing well and gurgling. And I said, let me hear. So she put up the phone, and I said, what are you doing differently? She said, well, the medical doctor ordered, I forget, like 500 cc's of water every couple of hours. He drowned her. He killed her. She died before I could even get anything done with her. He overhydrated her on purpose. There's no he knew. And this is what you don't do. This is why you don't overdo the water when you're acidic like this. I'll never forget that. It's sad. I worked months and months in pu pulling her back. She, she was able to talk, open her eyes, be bright, communicate. You know I mean, this was a tough case, and the, what we got done was an unbelievable. To have a medical doctor say she suffered too much, took it upon himself to overhydrate her and kill her. So this is just, that's just one little lesson there that I've had in overhydration of water. Oh, Pocahontas, I haven't talked to you in a while. Hello, Dr. Morris, I'm so happy you are with us. Oh, thanks, I appreciate this. Uh, I do, I appreciate your guys' support and love. It's a jungle out here. Where did I hear that before? I have ovarian cysts. Uh, I'll get them out of there, honey. Not growing anymore. Perfect. And earlier kidney problems, right? This is what, exactly, you're exactly right. It's where the kid cysts came from. I made it to seven days on grapes. That's good. And three on water. Wasn't easy, but still, look, you did it. Now you know what that is. Now next time, do ten. Push yourself. You did seven. I can do better. Come on. Give me 10 the next time. And uh, wasn't easy. Got terrible heartburn. Now, okay, grapes could have been a little strong for you. Cut them down. If, you have, if you're making juice, cut it with water. Cut it with apple juice. Grapes are real. This is what I'm talking about. Grapes are so strong that, yeah, you could, if you have a little bit of acidosis, feel that as it pulls that out and give you a little heartburn. So ease up on that kind of, you know, thin it up a bit, or um, that sort of thing, or be, you know, Go down to green grapes or something. They're less powerful. Till you can get the stomach cleaned up and the GI tract cleaned up, and then that won't happen to you. Okay. 